The pH level in your blood can make a huge difference in the solubility of uric acid and reduction in the risk of gout. The higher the acidity, the less soluble the uric acid. Eating foods that help balance your pH level can make a big difference. Interestingly, some foods that are very acidic actually turn alkaline during the digestion process. For example, lemon juice is quite acidic, but the alkaline ash produced in digestion helps level the pH balance. Vinegar is usually acid forming in the body. However, apple cider vinegar is an exception. Although apple cider vinegar is acidic going in, it produces an alkaline ash upon digestion that actually helps reduce acidity. Other examples of alkaline forming foods are orange and tomato juice. Sugar and artificial sweeteners are acid forming. Remember to consume desserts only in moderation. Vitamin C can help reduce uric acid levels. A clinical study showed that 500 milligrams of vitamin C per day for two months reduces the serum uric acid level by one half milligram per deciliter. About one third of the uric acid normally produced in the body comes from food, with the remainder being produced through regular metabolism. A daily intake of at least one half pound of cherries has been said to help reduce uric acid levels in some cases. Consuming meat increases the risk of gout. However, your physician may feel as though your system can safely tolerate skinless white meat, chicken, or turkey. If your physician has allowed you to consume a small amount of beef, please be sure to boil your meat at some point in preparation. Discard the broth. This will help reduce the total amount of purines consumed. Add salt in food preparations, not at the table. In addition, try substituting half or all of the salt in a recipe with garlic powder or fresh minced garlic. Be sure that your food is seasoned to taste before it reaches the table. This will help in lessening the total salt amount on the dinner plate. When choosing dairy products, select low fat or non-fat, but watch for xanthine, xanthan or xanthan gum, and unspecified gums. Xanthine, a purine base, appears in the metabolism of purines to uric acid. Xanthan gum, not to be confused with xanthine from the similar root sound, was tested and found to be very high in purines. Avoid saturated fats. There are a number of beef, pork, and veal cuts that are only relatively high in purines, but they contain a great deal of saturated fat. Please remember that consuming any meat or seafood servings can increase the risk of gout. Salicylates, including aspirin, are not allowed. Salicylates can worsen your condition or affect the potency of other medications. Eggs should be limited to one yolk per day. More than one white is acceptable. This is primarily due to the cholesterol factor. Try to drink eight to 10 eight ounce glasses of water each day. Water can help flush uric acid from the system and fight against dehydration, a risk factor for gout. Avoid extreme changes in diet, especially during an attack of gout. Moderation is the key in your dieting habits always make any changes gradually. Avoid alcohol and nicotine. Not only can excessive alcohol consumption trigger an attack of gout, alcohol can inhibit the effects of medications, including allopurinol. Nicotine intake can be a major factor in the causes of gout. If you are a smoker, try to reduce your intake. Nicotine affects blood pressure, the central nervous system, heartbeat and breathing rates, which can all add up to an increased risk for gout. In addition, when nicotine is used in conjunction with alcohol, the amount of addiction is said to increase.